All right, guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to this amazing view. And yes, I could record my face if I wanted to, but I don't feel like it. This message is for those who listen to my messages. For those who don't need an image in order to make it through one of these videos. So in this video, I want to talk about self-mastery, ladies and gentlemen, and why it's so difficult for so many people. Self-mastery is so difficult for so many people because they do not have their circadian rhythms calibrated. So, I mean, I mean imagine this. Try, try setting a clock to the right position when the gears and all the mechanisms on the inside aren't in alignment. It just won't work. The minute hand might not work, the hour hand might not, or maybe they don't tell time properly, they don't follow the natural rhythm, the circadian rhythm of the way that the clock was designed. So like clocks, ladies and gentlemen, we were actually designed to, we're designed to have circadian rhythms. Rhythms that have predictable uh, repetition, if you will. It's a very simplified way of defining it. And these in our, in our, excuse me, circadian rhythm is intimately connected to the rising and the setting of the sun. The swing of the celestial bodies, ladies and gentlemen, and the uh, changing of the seasons. So self-mastery, in my opinion, the first and most innermost important step to self-mastery is... Excuse me, I was watching someone off in the distance running in the rain. The, the first and most innermost important aspect of self-mastery, ladies and gentlemen, is getting your internal mechanisms, your circadian rhythm, back in alignment. We want to mimic an ancestral circadian rhythm. And an ancestral circadian rhythm, ladies and gentlemen, check this guy out. I don't know if you can see him. It's pouring. And I like how he's kind of just walking through it. That's awesome. So many people, when they get hit with rain, they act like they're made of sugar. Like it's the end of the world. Good luck in the real world. I mean, imagine if the grid went down, how pampered people are. They're not going to be able to make it very long, ladies and gentlemen. But that's besides the point. Trying to achieve great health when your inner clock is out of alignment with the rising and the setting of the sun, in my opinion, is damn near impossible. There are ways to set up your life so that you can be a functional and healthy um, insomniac and be nocturnal. But that's, I'm not gonna focus on that in this video. A nocturnal lifestyle, however, can bring you massive benefit in this world, especially for someone who is going through the perilous path and walking the razor's edge of Kundalini of Gnosis. But that's besides the point. And you might be wondering why a nocturnal lifestyle can be beneficial. It's because the matrix is largely awake during the day, ladies and gentlemen, and there's a collective weight in the collective consciousness of all the thoughts and all the activity during the day that affects your biofield, your aura. When the sun goes down, people start going to sleep, and the collective weight of that human configuration, if you will, if we want to call it that, it, it significantly lessens. And it's much easier to actually because of that enter deep states of clarity during the night. You see, you are whether you like to whether you like it or not, you're connected to the collective consciousness. <clears throat> and the activity of the collective consciousness affects you. There are indeed ways of separating yourself from this energy, and maybe we can talk about that in the near future, removing the influence of the collective consciousness on your own personal biofield. But getting your internal rhythms in alignment, ladies and gentlemen, that's that's true self-mastery. Abstaining from food when your body's in a, you know, in doing all these crazy fasts and all these things that induce stress when your body is not in alignment with a healthy circadian rhythm is like, it's pretty much like uh, trying to drive across the United States with a car that's depleted of motor oil. You've got to get all the, the, you know, the motor tuned. You've got to get the oil back in. You know, I mean, you, you need to give yourself a checkup, if you will. And giving yourself a checkup is you calibrating your inner clock, ladies and gentlemen. Whether you like it or not, you have an internal sundial system. You have a set of environmental triggers that stimulate the release of certain hormones. You know, they, they affect your neurotransmitters, your organs. 
This is largely due from, you know, to light from the sun. There's a handful of these environmental mechanisms. Here in the Matrix, we spend the majority of our time indoors, though, and we are in an artificial world within a natural world. And this artificial world in the Matrix, inside of our homes, we throw our circadian rhythm all out of alignment. So if you want to practice self-mastery, start by getting your internal clock situated, ladies and gentlemen. Start blocking blue light when the sun goes down. Start learning how to mimic an ancestral circadian rhythm. And watch what happens to your life. In the same way, ladies and gentlemen, that plants, animals, you name it, are dependent on the rising and the setting of the sun, so are we. But here in the United States especially, the, weaponized, the lighting systems have been so overly weaponized with large amounts of blue and green light, you name it, that we stay up way too long. You are the literal byproduct of year, pretty much since you came out of your mom's womb. You've been exposed nonstop to fluorescent and artificial lighting. Do you not see how this is an issue? Well, I don't give a good goddamn if you think I sound like I'm exaggerating this, that, and the other. I'm not exaggerating. Lighting is everything. And don't try to tell me that artificial light doesn't have an effect on your eyes, your health, your hormone levels, your skin, you name it. I mean, plants will even use artificial light if they have to. And they can actually grow from being exposed to artificial light. It's a suboptimal light source that affects your internal systems, ladies and gentlemen, just like it affects the goddamn plant. So I'm going to give you a simple formula right now. When the sun comes up in the east, as it rises, let a little bit of the light into your eyes. When it hits midday, let a little bit, a little bit of that, that light in through your eyes. When it goes down at night, let a little bit of that light into your eyes and then throw your goddamn UVX Skypers on and leave them on until you go to sleep. And also go into your house, ladies and gentlemen, and change your light bulbs to incandescence. I mean, do something creative with your time here to reset your internal switches. Until these switches, until your environmental sundial and all these different environmental switches are back in alignment or at least relatively in alignment, you are not going to be able to get good rest. And if you cannot get good rest, you are not going to be able to achieve even moderate decent health god damn it sleep is everything in this matrix where we are stressed chronically the amount of stress that we have from the environmental toxicity from the iron overload from all the heavy metals from all the aerosols from all of the light ladies and gentlemen the bad food the stressful lifestyles where we have these stupid fucking jobs that occupy all of our goddamn time here you might want to consider getting some rest ladies and gentlemen so I just want to wrap this one up by saying that the crux of self-mastery, you have to start with a foundation to launch off of. And if you have not even gotten your circadian rhythm in alignment, then what the hell are you doing trying to do all this self-mastery and, you know, I'm going to fast until this date, that date, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to do all this stressful shit. And, you know, when people end up doing this stuff, they can't, you know, you can muster enough strength and get to get through the stress, but you end up grinding your gears. On a more metaphoric level, you need to change the oil in your car. That's represent representative in this video. Are you getting your, in your uh, circadian rhythm back on track? We do that by blocking blue light to the best of our ability, changing our lighting sources, and doing what the best we can with what we've got. You're not going to be able to reach perfection with the lighting, ladies and gentlemen, because there's so many aspects to it. And most of you aren't willing to keep all your lights off when the sun actually goes down. So... We'll talk about that in the near future. I want to wrap this one up. Peace be with you.